Some secrets are worth adventuring for. Or so they say. Looking at where this one got me so far, I have my own take on the subject. My name is Faris Jawad, and now, I will put an end to all this. Request a backup! Hold on, Dania. I'm going to get you out of here. Now, what would you do if you were me? So, this is Amos's temple. Yep, that's the one. 3,560 years of history in this place. You have to be careful and watch your steps in there. My steps? You mean you're not coming in with me? Of course not, Faris. For starters, you were the one who always enjoyed raiding tombs and uncharting mysteries in video games. Now you get to do it yourself. Besides, we need someone on the outside to go call for help in case something happens to you. <laughs> oh, okay. So you were telling me that actual consideration for my well-being went into planning this thing. Good to know someone will come and extract my body in case the quick load button doesn't work. Relax. As your elder sister, I have always been taking care of you like a baby. Well, except for when you were terribly annoying, of course. But still, I will be monitoring your movement inside the temple and guide your way through. I will be the voice in your head. Nice. A threat and an assurance, all wrapped into one. Remind me again, Dania, what am I risking my life for? Your life and my precious time. This is the final resting place for Amos, son of Abana, who led the Egyptian army to get the Hexus out of Egypt in 1525 BC. As gratitude, the Pharaoh ordered the construction of this temple to honor him, and Amos chose a location overlooking his hometown of Nekeb. Quite a view indeed. But what's so special about it? 
I'm sure the grave robbers picked it clean ages ago. They picked what they thought was valuable. Almost acquired two golden daggers from one of his battles with the Hexus. He got so attached to them that he kept them in the tomb and made them into unlocking mechanisms. Some sort of keys for... Something of greater value, I presume? Exactly. An award he got for his courage called the Gold of Valor. It's a necklace with three pendants in the shape of flies, made up of about half a pound of gold, making it one of the most valuable military decorations, as well as the most ancient. I'm sure it's going to be a major breakthrough in archaeology, and it's going to be attributed to us. I like your collective team spirit. Let's see where this takes us. But be careful. The deeper you go in, the weaker the signal gets. No worries, I have my handy sidearm just in case a mummy decides to wake up for lunch or something. Here we go! What secrets does this place hide? Wow, you gotta see this, don't you? What is it? Well, I could tell you, but I won't. Tell me! This ancient fountain might be the key to progress. <laughs> Maybe if I can get the water flowing again somehow, that might help. We need to find a way to unlock this huge gate. There must be a way to do that. Look around carefully. Sweet. Maybe if you climb up, that might help. Nice. Sweet.
Nice. I've got to find three more of these pieces. Okay, two more. One more to go. Aha! The four streams of the fountain are running now. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. 